We need to find the answer to five riddles. How are we going to solve the first riddle? We turn on the lamp and the phone starts to ring. A museum dedicated entirely to quests called The Power of a Signature has opened its doors to visitors. In order to complete these quests, participants have to hunt for clues. The Russian romantic painter Ivan Ivazovsky hid his signature on the mast of a ship in his famous painting The Ninth Wave. Salvador Dali famously left small drawings on checks, which then weren't cashed. And there are hundreds of such stories. Exhibition organizers spent half a year collecting them all. Look at the wall dedicated to Chiyuna Sugihara, who saved 6,000 Jews during World War II. To illustrate this fact, we made 6,000 holes and inserted 6,000 ribbons into them. They were made specifically for this project. The museum also pays special attention to the dacha in Belovezhka Pusha in Belarus. In December 1991, the Belovezhka Accords were signed there. Pictured here are Boris Yeltsin, Leonid Kravchuk and Stanislav Shushkevich, and the foreign ministers of Russia, Ukraine and Belarus. It took six days to draw this setting by hand. It shows the room in which the accords dissolving the Soviet Union were signed. The most famous counterfeit in Ukrainian history is called The Zaporozhian Cossacks Write a Letter to the Sultan by Ilya Repin. However, there is no proof that this letter really existed. It was a product of Repin's imagination. Visitors can read the text if they find the hidden button. This seal of the Central Council of Ukraine is unique. It is being displayed to the public for the first time. This is the first Ukrainian state seal after centuries of statelessness. It is a witness to some of the most incredible events in the history of our country. When Ukrainian nationhood was reborn, it was a cause of enormous hope. There are no less unique exhibits nearby, including the seals of Hetman Pavlovskoropatsky, Simon Pitlura and Nestor Makhno, recycled from the cylinder of a Mauser gun. The museum is also equipped with virtual reality technology. With the help of VR headsets, visitors can virtually sign the Universal Declaration of Human Rights adopted by the UN in 1948. Reported by Inessa Zanina for UATV.